Song's over, let's start the show. Fishing our lives, 708-794-6386. This is Madam here with Max David Show. And have we ever asked if fish if there's any fish who walk that walk? I'm sorry, what? Do we know if any fish can walk? Yeah, we've talked about this. I think we've talked about every fish possible every fish fact question. there is. I mean, because like look at this. Look at him go. Oh yeah. <clears throat> you ever see a fish that walks on land? That's what this music is making me think. Oh, those suckers! Crawling up in mud, gonna take your daughter. Man, when to be your father, I must walk and fish, and that's who I am. It's like it's him singing. <laughs> Pond, tank runs dry. Yeah. But there's also other types of walking fish, Matt. Okay. Uh, that walk underwater. What? Have you not? Have you heard of this one? No. Have you heard of this? Have you heard of this? Uh, sea cucumber walk. No, no. There's one with like a f fish with legs. Yeah, sea cucumber. Oh, it's okay. not a sea cucumber. Tiny oh, legs. it's a starfish. No. Salamander. Gosh, what was it of. called? It's an amphibian, actually. I don't know how to find what it. Starfish walk. Clams have feet. I just saw it pop up on social media. Uh, mer are, mermaids. Those are mollusks. Uh, fish. Once they starfish. Do deals this with isn't what I meant. Ursula. There's like some weird like bat legs. fish that does this. And but like, look at this. Look at this Eric. fish with legs. <laughs> they said they found a fish with legs. <laughs> That's wow. esoteric. But it's not the fish I was thinking of. There's ones that kind of have like these X-wing look I from think Star fake. Wars. That's like uh, National Enquirer shit. Fake news. You're calling Photoshop. I'm calling Photoshop. Seven zero eight seven nine four six three eight six. If you'd like to call in and call Photoshop, Photoshop, you can do that. Otherwise, get out of here, sucker. Get out of town, clown. Coming up next on the streams, William Street Swap Shop. <laughs> All righty, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Two morning bullshit, evening edition, live after that blood feast tonight. Seven, what are you guys doing tonight? I don't know, Dave. What are we doing tonight? Why don't you guys go down to the Rocky Crag? Yeah, we're probably going to do a show from the Rocky Crag. It's not far. Not far. Bring plastic bags for the cameras. It may rain. The development meeting is live from Atlanta, Studio B, this week. Walter's here. I don't know who he's doing it with, but... Maybe Lazo? Mm. Why don't you know? I, 
I do know. I'm just not saying. He's being cute about it. Being coy, Roy. Wonder Closet tonight. Jay's in charge of assembling that, getting that together. Show over already? Blood Feast presents Show Me the Body tonight. What's that? They're pretty wild. They have a, a loud, in-your-face sound, and the guy plays a banjo. Yeah. Should, we, should I let him in, Matt? Uh, yeah, he can come in. Okay. Who is it? I don't know. It's Pete Scott from across the way. He probably doesn't realize that we're broadcasting right now. About to find out. Hi. I did a, I did a, a pun play based on the music we heard uh, earlier in the show. It's a fat domino. Pete, if you want to see uh, Christina is, bro is running the game from directly behind this wall, you might want to catch up with her. It's as if the domino itself has a fat stomach. This is uh, just some of the quick uh, photoshops, because once again, I'm announcing it. Photoshops are coming back to Fish Center. We're going to put the pH on that. Anyway, this is more of a fat domino. So I could also, you know, Matt, if you want, you want to play that song? Is Fat Domino yeah. still alive? What did you say, Dave, to me? All right, Matt, play the song. Yeah, the the, so the walk-in song. Got to put a Wacom back in here. Oh, 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 Fat Domino. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, what happened to my Wacom? It broke? Probably fucking broke it years ago. And then just hey, Christina, uh, no, Pete, I think Pete is moved. coming over to uh, watch uh, the gameplay. We moved. Uh, we are moved rooms. And Christina, are you there? Oh wait, hold on. These guys, hold hold on. These guys might have repatched it. The, I got a uh, uh, goon. Actually, I well, still have it. I'm not mad at them. The goons I'll bring it from uh, I'm, just used, I'm just used to it being plugged in. Posers and pikers. Hey, Christina. Hey, Christina. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Did Pete find you? Yes, he did. Okay, just so standing right there. Um. Uh, I'm on air right now. Come do you want to turn me down? Or no, do you want to okay. hear me? I'll turn you. I'll uh, Chat has sent us another walking <laughs> fish here on the laptop show. I'll Let's look at this walking yeah, so fish. It's got funny legs. Okay. Thanks, Christina. And here it goes. Matt, you're going to love this. Last night song. Who's Chad? <laughs> Chat. These little legs are going to be like... Now that is a cool fish. What a waste of a fish, though, to have to walk. It's, it's got like, like the a one wow. thing a fish can it's do. It's like kind of like a box, like a cowfish kind of thing. Face. Well, yeah, it's, it's got like a head and a ponytail. Like imagine like if a, a head shrimp. with a ponytail had a lot of little little yeah. eggs. Like where a, is where, what's the where's the location the of ocean. that one? This is from Tau Island, which I believe is from Bio the Bionicle series. It's an underwater. Uh, what are those farm? It's farming machines called rototillers. They say we know more about the surface of Miles. the moon uh, than they we also know about do our own that. It's like a uh, Send in your. Um, I don't know enough about farming. It's a multi thing. Show in your 40s, you can take up farming, like you took up fishing. <sighs> it's interesting. I have been thinking about finally purchasing a property because of fishing too. Show you could. What if you had a property that I had might, a pond on it? I might finally appease my mother's wishes of me owning a home. Whoa! It would be like a fishing place. Fit. What if you had a boat? A combine. That's what they're fucking called. A for farming combine. Sure. What if you had a um, lived on a a, a boat, um, like a houseboat? For working be a pirate in the Atlanta area, that's slightly impractical, but it's not a bad idea. Thanks. Call up the scores, please, Mike. Flump back in the. Green this week. Jeremy Legg looking for a chance. I feel like Jeremy Legg has been eking his way through the cracks to like being a loved fish. There's some people like Sage who are always fighting for Jeremy Legg. So don't don't top out on Jeremy Legg. Yeah, don't top out on Jeremy Legg, whatever you do. And they're off. No, they're not. That, I didn't. But there's no and coins. And they're off. I don't, Dave, there's no coins. Oh, this is kind of an existential no kind of coin crisis. Thursday? Oh, there is oh. a float coin, though. Okay, that might... Dave, I mean, where the is, coins It go? is random, right? But I feel like... Is it random? A no coin it's option so random. is kind of shitty. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe Tina stole all the coins? Do you know she's short on cash? Christina, did you steal the coins? Did I what? 
Exactly. No, I didn't. Why would I do that? I'm not willing. Well, there's no coins on CoinQuest. Bouncy coin hit by slider. Yeah, that's a shaggy response from a shaggy dog of an employee. Christina, I think, is one of the few people in the office that actually would be good at crime. What are we supposed to do here? Most people here are too nice or they're just She would. I've theorized some things about her, but that's for a different story. I feel like she actually sees the angles and would, has the balls to work them. Hey, there's no coins here. What are we... <laughs> I don't know, Matt. Who gets the most... Was your question who gets the most points this round? No. No. So I guess zero was, points in round one. a waste of time. Well, I mean, we had to see what happens. <laughs> Sorry for <laughs> Jimmy's corner, Rat Hands. Also, Rat Hands asking the Times Square bar. Oh. Oh, wait. Was that where we went with the Australian or the Russian guy or whatever? The, the guy who wanted to beat our asses? Well, there was that guy because you disrespected his dead wife. <laughs> well, she had it coming. Was I there for that? I don't know. Were yeah, you? you were there. I mean, I feel like we've been several places where Matt was... About to get his ass kicked. <laughs> no, I can't think of just one. I can't think of one. Uh, that time in New York. <laughs> that one got a little heated. But there was probably more than one. That was a Jimmy's Corner. We were in there. No, the guy kept wanting to buy everybody shots, and everyone was like, no, and he got mad. Uh, and we drank Rolling Rocks. Yeah. I do remember that. Yeah. I guess it was a net zero. A net zero. We're going to have a coin quest round with no coins? I've, I've, I've gone into the system, and I found that the coins were actually just hidden in corners of the code, hmm. which is not an arbitrary, uh, an ordinary thing. But it was accurate. But it was accurate. Okay. If you went in through the code, there were corners. People, okay. So one of the random options is zero coins. No, it's not even that, show. So as you know, as a coder, in which Dave and Matt don't know about... Uh, I don't know about Code it. exists I in a three-dimensional... Well... Python is in IMG a, space SRC equals. It's like a cube. Col don't use uh, spaces in code is like a image cube. SRC. And sometimes you Open lose caret, fragments IMG of code in corners SRC of the room. You, don't, you shouldn't use carrots either. In HTML you did? There were comments in the code that said the coins are hiding. HTML ha -ha. isn't coding. So I don't know what's oh, going on. Fuck you. HTML is markup. That's bullshit. 708 794 686. Give Let's us a call. You make a website. Yeah. Fish didn't get any coins. That's the <laughs> only round I, ever. I may have forgotten how. The fish didn't get a coin. No coins. Ever. When are you guys going back to New York? Probably when uh, we go live up there for the summer. <laughs> Let's Ooh, mimosa. Oh, mimosa. Mimosa. Ooh, mimosa. Mimosa. Are we gonna have Dave? Are you gonna have like a New York's wife? Are I we did all gonna not have see our Slider start that shit. Special I think New York might wives. Be, she might need a card again. Mimosa and Slider we'll have a do New York not spouse. get along. <laughs> so they're ignoring my question. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna have it. No, I have there's one wife. Max. But it's New York. It's a New York wife. Yeah, but listen, I'm Mimosa, a you better cool man. it, girl. I'm just because I'm living in New York for the entire but summer. But you and I could do mean. speed dating. Oh really? Yeah. Or I meet a new wife. You boof meth and then you go you go on dates. By the way, Ned's been cooking meth. Jiang got special mad room. at me for saying I was gonna have an orgy with Cho. So I just want to say that I'm not allowed Cho to have an orgy with you. Well, is it? Wait, who it's said, cause who Cho said shouldn't that? be in it. Is I that said, why? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> she said if we're doing an orgy, no Cho. She's like, who, who would Jiang's pick be? A, a one, a one know. Asian quota besides you in the office. She can be oh, the in only the one. Office. Jay or. No. Fuchs? Come on. We're all co-workers here. We're colleagues. This is a business. Look at Slider's skinned up on the side. You see that? That's an injury. That, that dark spot? Yeah. Uh, Ned uh, filled up the new tank. Should we show people it to it? Yeah, Dave. Come on. It smells like chemicals in there. All right. I'll go out there with a the camera real quick. But everyone's got to put on your headphones. Hashtag one tank. People are excited, Dave. If we're in the New York and we have New York wives, we'll have a New York bloodzle. It's like our wives and us oh, could yeah. host the bloodzle. Yeah, we're going to have a bloodzle. And we could also do a fuzzle. Dave, are you already put out on there? Your, put on, yeah. Put on, put on your headphones. Why Listen. were you stuttery? Listen it's, to this. I can lock out. I'm that one.
don't eat that. <laughs> Sorry. That was actually pretty cool. So I'm using this waterproof contact mic. I thought you were supposed mic. to show us the tank. I know, but I'm using a waterproof contact mic to do this. Candy in there. Doesn't it doesn't work that good? <laughs> I heard crunching. Or maybe yeah, Plump's just not There's that light of an eater. Look how adorable he is. I think some maybe some crawfish are softer than others. Sort of gonna flump better. Than I, I need to also die. mount the microphone better. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Well, do you want to go show? Yeah, I'm gonna go show a, a place off or whatever. Yeah. And then <coughs> hashtag one tank. It's here. I'm a really big fan of actually fan. Fanned. fanned. Pretty much just duplicates it. Shut up, Tina. No, Christina. Hello. Just you can talk. Put, can you put the, the headset mic. down for a second? I'm gonna come over and grab the headset. Oh, sure. Okay. Dave. Bye, Dave. I um, I really like the sound underwater. I just always like the Relax. sound. I was remembering that. I used to just lie down face first in the wake wearing a snorkel and a mask and just watch things and I'd be 14 and I'd have thoughts that I thought were deep or nothing. It was the closest to meditation I ever did because I wasn't much into meditation but I liked What about the sensory deprivation tanks that they have here in Atlanta? Too dark. Have you been to one, Matt? I've not. I, I kind of want to, though. You could have chose Orgy in one. <coughs> what the fuck is my Orgy? What is this? Are you guys it's about? more than four people or or four having sex. No, four it's a, apparently a conversation that I was not in on. It's in the sensory deprivation tank, so sure no one I knows who is who. I'm just being thrown into an Orgy that I have no discussion. You can just watch. I feel like I'm being objectified. No. I, it's, seriously, I'm hoping nobody knows what anyone looks like what with the clan I have. But, you know, that's me injecting myself. Why are you Hello, planning this is a Dave? fucking orgy? Hi, Dave. Hey, Dave. Wait, Max, no, I said I'm not having an orgy. Uh, no, but we're still planning I Joe's know, orgy. Why are, Dave, what the fuck's going on? Why, are, why is Max planning an orgy for me? For your birthday. It's over. Yeah, but 40 is forever, right? <laughs> I guess if I die while I'm 40, sure. Can you see this camera? What's your name where you're calling from? I don't see a camera now. Uh, my name is Adrian. I'm calling from the car. Hey. Hello. Oh, so how's that okay, now we see it. Going? Uh, we're about to reveal it. It's here. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, oh. Hi, Jeff. Fun. And we have hashtag one grant. Jeff always there, and it's really he creepy. Is the ambassador of one tank, Jeff. I like if you want to lead us post. into the new, the one tank. Oh, he's the ambassador. Filtration room. <clears throat> in the, in there. <laughs> I forgot what I called in for. Now I feel lame. There it is. Oh, is it not to watch? The one tank. One, one tank. tank. Well, it's two tanks. Two tank. Hashtag two tanks. So that one's the vertical tank. That there. This is going to be on the floor. Yeah. That's a filtration system there. Thanks, Jeff. That's a whole tank just for filtration? This is all for filtration. Well, the right tank. And then we're going to drill a <laughs> hole right here. So many tanks. Don't break yeah. it. <laughs> okay. So, so a hole's going to go through there. And the one to the right of that is the quarantine. Corn this tank. Is the corn tank. So that's not one oh, tank. Shoot. Yeah, it is. That's it's not one the tank. tank. You this made it seem like it's the tank. I said it's a new tank. My cable won't get any further, but it looks like there is well, water in there. Well, maybe it's just a reference to the name of wanting one tank, but it became to this elaborate plan of a kajillion tank. And no, it's a quarantine tank. To, so we're going to keep our fish safe. So hold on. I'm going to mm. hashtag yeah, safe fish 2019. Having yeah, we don't want any mishaps again. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Look at that. <sighs> Dave, don't breathe so heavily. i got to get longer cables. We're now we're checking out our quarantine tanks filtration system, which looks Ooh. very clean. Are there iPads in there, Dave? No, it's um, uh, some rubber. And then... Is that tubing? That'll be the... Is that Boards rack? of Canada. Got I think it's to keep the temp. floor protected, maybe. Got some true temp uh, heaters. How big is this room? This is my old office. This is where I used to work. And now it's storage. Dave, maybe oh, you can show where the situation. where the big tank is going while you're out there. Right. Remind the folks. So the big tank is going to be right here. And yeah. you can see 
this blue outline that is roughly the size of the new tank. Big ass tank. Roughly, and I'm gonna try to balance the camera on Christina's head. On this pole over here. Let's see if I could do this. Okay. Maybe Jeff can help you. He like walked away or something. <laughs> it won't balance on this <coughs> pole. Okay. Very good. Well, I don't know what half of happening is, so I'm Very gonna good. go. No, don't go. Bye. Bye. Don't I love go. you. Love you. All right. Oh, Lauren, can you hold them? Or can you stand over here? He did say he was driving. It's probably unsafe. Mm. Can you get as close to that wall as you can? can she T posed. And for scale. Well, Lauren's not the size of a normal person. Yeah, so that's. She's very small. Just keep in mind, Lauren's. She looks uh, very unhappy. Sized. To be here. She says she's not regular sized. Can you, can you even touch she's that fun fire hydrant? She's like 5'3 or something, that's right? That's a great shirt. Ask Lauren where she got that shirt. Tell her uh, I want to know. Joe would like to know where you got that shirt. Urban Outfitters. Are we worried about the oh, fire alarm? So it's like no. I think we're just gonna. Well, I think we're gonna make the tank lower than that. I need to. I don't think it's gonna be that. Add that high. to my oh, Hawaii I wardrobe. I think that's just the general size. Thank you, Lauren. So she, will, will Lauren punch her hand through the wall? Lauren, will you punch your hand through the wall? Shops at Urban Outfitters. See if she doesn't punch her hand through the wall. Oh my god, she did it just on the other side, just out of view. <laughs> wow. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> I think she might have hurt her hand. Yeah. Rand hand says it looks like the size of the old tank. Well, no, it's not. Here's, it's not. The, here's the old tank. <coughs> here, again. So here. Oh. Which one's the that's, old tank? That's what All the right, old tank was, that mind. size. That's the old tank, okay? But I thought that was a new tank. It is, it's a new it old is tank. It's a new tank. So the quarantine tank is the same size as the old tank? See, old tank is that big. New tank, way bigger. It's yeah. very unscientific. Way dude. bigger. And, and Dave, this, take, this keeps in look, mind perspective. Ty, it's basically the quarantine tank the same size as Ty's head. And then that's at least two and a half Ty's heads. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. It's coming next week. That's... Today is Thursday. I'll put all this stuff back. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. I need to put toothpaste on this big swollen pimple. I'm just putting this stuff back. <laughs> Dave? Huh? Dave? What? I'm just looking at your ass. What? <laughs> Stop! No, apparently don't be it's don't be shy, Dave. Stop that. Apparently it's not a good thing. Don't put toothpaste on your face. Dave, you're a tramp. Okay. Just lean into it. I'm gonna turn this camera off now. Okay. Seven oh eight seven nine four six three eight six. Do round two of coin quest here in a moment. As soon as Dave's back to write down what I say. Yeah. Do we have any coins? I found all the coins. Uh, I told okay. you, Dave. I don't remember. <clears throat> it's crazy. A hundred and 50 episodes in, and we had a round without coins. It took us that long. Round two. Round two. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Whatever. Hey, it's me, Chad. Oh, hey, Chad. Chad. Hey, Chad. Just hanging out. The beach died. Where you at? Beach. The beach. Yeah. Which beach? Where the waves meet the land. Yeah. What beach are you at? So good up Huntington Beach. Oh, hell yeah, buddy. You're doing it right. You're doing life right. We're just seriously local around here. Locals only. Right? Yep, bash the surfers who try and surf in your zone. Move, please. I'm from around. Our C stand car is here, Cho. It is here. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah. Nine, wow. Eight, Sorry, man. That was a roll. Seven, six, five, All right, guys. I found the coins. Three, three, was Hamroll the roll? One, one, 
Or is that a real guy? It's me! Oh, yeah, whatever happened to him? Where did you come from? Let's watch the car play! Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you come Fentanyl. I think he's incarcerated. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cognado. Come on, fish. Y'all on the other side of the tank. Y'all not getting these coins. Y'all missing out. He's you hiding behind the coral over there. I don't see no hair broken. What if I was just to kick the ever-loving shit out of <laughs> Negative one for slider. Negative one for slider. Oh, then snacking through him, man. Skating by with just sliding, the sliding in between the negative oh, energy. Nice. Slider was sliding. Negative five for Hot Steve. Negative five for Mimosa and Slider. Slider. Negative one for Hot Steve. Plus one for Plump. Negative five for Slider. <laughs> negative five for Jeremy Leg. Negative five for Mimosa. No, that's Ooh. negative one for Mimosa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just negative. Okay, I'm so sorry. Ooh. Old TX Cupper. Gravity coin on the field. Did you hear we can't? <laughs> negative one for Hot Steve. Gravity coin hit by Hot Steve. Plus one for Jeremy Leg. Don't say it, man. I know we can't. Just don't say what it is. Five, five for, for Mimosa. Mimosa and Slider. Negative one for Slider, negative five for Flump, negative five for Hot Steve, negative one for Mimosa Flump. and Flump. Mm. Yeah. I mean, did we mention, do people realize that the stand that our quarantine tank is on is the stand to our old tank? Do people realize that? No, I'm sure there are some eagle-eyed viewers yes. that notice that. I mean, that just put that into perspective. But without people. the without the top hood on, it does it looks so much smaller. Yeah, but people, that <laughs> our quarantine tank is the size of our old main tank. I mean, it's insanity what we're doing. Yes. Here. It is going to be nice that we have our own quarantine. <clears throat> just a quick walk through the timeline. New tank arrives next week. These fish go into the quarantine tank for a month. Quarantine for a month. While the new tank and the living rock inside the new tank are curing. Curing. Like meat. Like the coffee th thing. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Acorn. I'm from Atlanta. I knew it was going to be you, Acorn. Hello? Hello? Yes, hi. Hi. Acorn. Hi, hello. Yes, hi. Hi. Hello? I was wondering uh, what it takes. I was going to ask Joe what it takes to, to make it to 40. Uh, dumb luck. What do you mean, dumb luck? What does that mean? I should have died countless of times. You haven't Joe, done you're anything. Not that, your life isn't that reckless, Joe. No, no when not. I was a kid. Not re in recent Oh, times. we all did. Re I was always spelunking through the creeks where all the dead fish were hanging out. I wonder if fish... Going around San Francisco by myself on the ferry. So just luck and patience is all it takes to get to 40. And I'm 40. Luck and patience. Just a Ooh, little patience. Patience. How old are you, Acorn? <clears throat> I am 32. Oh, you gotta, yeah, okay. You're pretty old too, though. You're no young in yourself. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make it if I can just be patient. Have you ever had a near death experience? Near death. I fell. I was on the trampoline. And I got double bounced. Oh shit! And I fell on my back on the bar. Oh. The metal bar. That sounds brutal. Sometimes and people I wasn't about die to having die, fun. but that was... Uh, that was your closest to death? That was probably my closest to death. Cho, how about you? Closest to death? That I remember no. when I drove no, into... Something that you don't remember. When <laughs> I drove into the... Well, when I was a kid, I was returned to my mother's store where she was not watching me. You remember by, a store? By a customer that. of hers. My mom owned a store. Mary's, what kind of store? It's called Mary's Apparently store. one of her regular customers who recognized me what? found me trying to cross Route... Whatever that is. Route 35 through New Brunswick. I wandered out. I was a toddler. I was a fucking terrorist as a kid. Ran out of the store, was trying to Wild cross kid a highway in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and one of my mom's customers recognized me and returned me. So if she hadn't found me at the side of the road trying to cross traffic, I probably would have ended up smeared on a windshield. Then. Wow. 
I don't remember that one though. What was your mom's store? My mom was, uh, it was called Mommy and Me. It was maternity <laughs> clothes and stuff. <laughs> I know, isn't that adorable? <laughs> Joe, I found Mommy it. And I me. think it, uh, it was probably a front. My mom oh, wait, should, he's, I, he's I believe a she's a, a human trafficker, so she was probably. Was it so it was you and your mom ran it together? Uh, no, I was like fucking three years old, Dave. Mommy, mommy, mommy and Me? Was mommy it, and Me. Did you name it? No, I don't think I did. But I think it was a front for human trafficking, if I know my mom. Anyways, oh. uh, that sh probably is the first time I should have died. Should have. And then uh, the one I remember is driving home to New Jersey from here. S drove smack into a snowstorm in North Carolina. I should have died during that Joe, trip. I thought it was called Miri Food Market. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, clothing store. Oh, so who's that? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Not my mom. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Just be. kidding, Joe. I, I literally looked up Asia, Asian market, <laughs> and I just photoshopped it. It's very clever. It's photoshops are back on Fish Center. So I was driving basically out of control on the highway, white-knuckled from the North Carolina-Virginia border all the way into Pennsylvania. I should have died then. Wow. I couldn't change lanes, I couldn't slow down, I couldn't speed up, and I couldn't get off the highway because nothing was plowed. I was stuck following old truck ruts in the snow, and I was either going to make it all the way to Jersey or fucking die. But I made it. So that's the most recent time. That was back in 2013, whatever that white Christmas wow. year was. I can't think of any near-death experiences I've ever had. I was, I was ready to die. My um, near-death experience, I don't remember. I had plenty of time to think about it, and I... I I relaxed into it, and I was like, I'm either going to make it or I got I'm lost dead. in a jungle once. <laughs> <From the Whoa. laughs> not, and I was covered Brazil? in mud and climbing up. I'm not even kidding. I had to, uh, and then when I finally was got, got, found my way out of the jungle, my dad was there, and he made me like take off all my muddy clothes so I was naked in front of everyone. Wow. But I was lost in the jungle, climbing up wow. vines. I was slipping. So you I see, Acorn, the there were several instances where I was lucky to not die. That's why I say it, it takes luck and patience. Dave, right out of the uh, right out of the, my mom's birth canal, I had the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck, wow. and I was born uh, late but severely underweight. Oh man! And the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck, uh, it's suffocating <laughs> as this bright light grew brighter and brighter, and I slid out of my mom's birth canal. Whoa. And they said to my mom, he's probably going to die. Just like that. Yeah. The doctor <laughs> said, ain't looking good, lady. Wow. Surf's <clears throat> up. And then my dad lowered his head and he said, dear God, if you save my son, uh, I promise I'll uh, grow my finger back. Grow my <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, Max. Don't bring up shit like that. <laughs> and that's that he actually had to give his finger for Dave's life. It was like a cosmic bargain when time stood still and a Rumpelstiltskin-like character popped out of uh, her, his mom, too, and said, Hey, I'll give you your son for your finger. It's been all pretty e easy since then. Round it was probably three. the worst moment of my life. It does sound stressful. Acorn, and we're glad you're alive. You didn't get paralyzed? You be no, oh. I thankfully did not get paralyzed. I cried. I think my mom put some ice on my back. Yeah. But I recovered. Now I'm 32. Want to play a game? Do you want to challenge Dave to yeah. hamburger humper or whatever it's called? Game nausea. The best part about Dave's story, man. Is that the, yeah. uh, the springy the hamburger time. game? Yeah. Uh, come on, show. You like that one. How many points do you think you can make, my friend? I think Dave's. What's Dave's he got him in for you? He's got 18 points. Dave's got 18. That seems to be a common bet. Yeah, he's 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 you know, got some growing pains, but he's <clears> got he's got the hang of it. Burger Spring. Man, mimosas on reader day. Yeah. Fish Fighter is amazing too. I want to see more of that. Thank One you. tank can't well. come soon enough. Oh, oh God! Here I go. Okay. All right, the wager is 18. Oh, oh, shit. I was trying to turn on my... I got to do that again. No. Yeah, I got to do it again. We do have to let Dave <sighs> do a fish sound? fight. And then we're going to have to hire 
that woman Do I have sound to make for this? more a animals. For Does this game have sound, man? Once yeah. you get promises. So sound? God. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was even worse. <laughs> okay, definitely not 18. I got zero. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Dave? I kill you. I got, I'm getting ripped off. You're not getting ripped off. You're failing. No, I'm... Look. Look how much better I am so already. So that 18 points that for the bucket? That puts point in no, the bucket. No, I'm doing babe. it again. No, no, you can't just... Well, the game ripped count. me off. It's it's not not again, it gave me no chance. chance. It's not going to count. Yes. No one saw you take I'm going to get 18. to 81. Acorn. I'm going to get 18 for you, Acorn. Don't worry. It doesn't count. It does count. It doesn't count. Look, I didn't almost die at birth for nothing. Okay? Well, maybe you did, Dave. No. Maybe in 50, 60, 80 years, no one's going to give a shit about the name David Bonowitz. Fucking shit. I didn't get it anyway. Sorry, Acorn. I love you. They'll be like, whom? Whom was David Bonowitz? Seven zero eight seven nine four six three eight six. Call in and tell us your near death experience. Dave, you were getting good at that. What the hell happened? I got. Th there was. You saw. There was no brackets to jump on. Hmm. Nowhere. As a kid in the 80s, Rainbow Unicorn Poop says, we were allowed to walk home from elementary school for some reason. Dude drove up to me and my sister and had these flyers and said, I've lost my dog, can you help me find him? My sister started toward the car, and I guess the gym teacher was watching from the school parking lot, and then the gym teacher kidnapped me and almost killed me. Whoa, who, Whoa. who is that? Who the said gym that? gym teacher saved him by almost killing him. Wait, what happened? Uh, my mom has this story about her and her girlfriends when she was like 12. Oh, I didn't know your mom... Had girlfriends. Yeah. 12 year old girlfriends? Well, I mean, as friends who are women. And they were walking, this guy yelled at them to come to his car, and he was nude and flashed them, and they were like, oh my god, and like laughing about it. But That's then in the future, she's like, oh wow. Okay, cut back to me. Yeah. I'm at 18. I did it for you. Dave, acorn. that doesn't count. <sighs> What's your name? Where are you calling from? Woo! Uh, hey, it's Shoe Fresh in uh, Austin, Texas. Hey, Shoe Fresh. Hey, guys. I uh, want to wish a happy belated to a uh, show, and uh, I want to agree with him. Uh, just not being an idiot, and uh, patience will definitely get you to 40. I turned uh, 42 today. Wow, wow, today. If you are an idiot, today, luck, today luck will save you. Yeah. Wow. And so celebrated at Red Lobster. Very nice. Well, happy Very birthday classic. to you, know, It just seems weighted in your favor, because I feel like most people make 40. Not Statistically, most yeah, I think uh, more people have made 40 than have died before 40 in our in current this country. In this country, yeah. Maybe. I've got uh, I've got two near-death experiences here. One when I was really young and one when I was in college. When okay. I was uh, seven, uh, when I was seven, my f uh, family took me to San Antonio. We went uh, and toured this natural bridge cavern. So it's full of stalactites and stalagmites. And at one point when crossing one of the natural bridges, I uh, lost my balance and was about to fall off it onto the, uh, the stalagmites. And my dad pulled me by my uh, shirt tail and uh, saved my life that day, which was uh, really crazy. But when you're seven, you don't really realize exactly how close you are to that. You think you're invincible. And when I was 21, uh, just about to graduate college, I was making a student film in my apartment complex. And uh, we were uh, filming, uh, you know, something that seemed a little gruesome. In fact, I had a friend uh, stay outside my apartment uh, with the staged blood all over him and said, just look dead. Just look dead. You'll be fine. Well, a security officer came by and actually saw that, uh, radioed the police. They came by to the door knocked on it, uh, and I assumed it was my neighbor, so I was all ready to yell at them. Uh, I opened the door, and I shouted at the police, not realizing who it is, with a prop gun in my hand, and uh, the officer drew his uh, revolver right on my chest. So uh, I almost died that night, too. Waka waka! Whoa, that's crazy. I know, right? Just don't do stupid crap like that, and you'll make it to 40. And also, don't and in spite of that, I got here. Don't be black. Yeah, it, it probably does not hurt that you I would got, have been uh, shot the right, right away. Working for me. Yeah, thank your genetic <laughs> lottery for not being a minority in this country. Yes, I, I, I thank my lucky stars. But um, yeah, uh, uh, thanks for the opportunity, guys. Uh, have a great day. Enjoy good the story. show. I love you. So Dave's going to try and counter me with some uh, bad evidence by saying that since the 1800s or something. The fuck am I but doing? the current life expectancy in the USA, Dave, is 78.7 .7 years. I know, but I'm saying. So that's just way more than 40. A hundred years ago. No. I'm, but I'm saying, Max. I Chose not from a hundred years ago. countering. I'm just saying. Is that for people who were born today? 
I'm just saying it's am I'm, I think it's amazing. I'm not no, no, no. I'm not saying oh you're wrong or oh I'm better than no, you. No, I think you're saying well, no better. you're wrong. No, I'm, I'm better just than you in and you're not allowed in the orgy in either. A different so era, now two of the four men in this room can't be in the orgy. Sounds like just life two men fucking. I don't sounds like a guy fucking his boss. Ago. Sounds like Dave fucking himself because of G Young's rules and Dave's pretentiousness. Why am I pretentious about my orgies? Did because so what? We all wear masks. Big deal. Because you think you're I showed the fish my balls. Listen, Matt, stop playing. I'm that not sound interested bite. in your orgy. Just take me out of the conversation. Well, I mean, we do it in a sensory balls? deprivation tank. Um, I don't think that would happen. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> I think that's kind of the whole point, right? <laughs> I don't think you'd be fun like at this. an orgy, Matt. Rebecca FaceTimes and drives too much. She FaceTimes? She's going to have a near-death experience. I think she's she most likely to die. <laughs> I think she hangs out with strangers more than anyone else. She does? Goes to uh, countries she that have bombs. She goes to empty buildings, right? And yeah. At yeah. night. Don't do that, people. But, you know, some people uh, die while watching Cheers on their couch. Yeah. So. True. That's, uh, there's no control over that sort of thing. Who's the famous man from that show, though? Sam Malone. Sam Malone? Yep. Coach. Woody Harrelson. Round. Woody Harrelson's going to play Archie Bunker in the, in the reboot of All in the Family. And he's going to talk like this. He's got this voice where he talks like, isn't that like Woody Harrelson's Round voice and everything now? Yeah. Let me say, you're going to shoot a zombie, you got to shoot it well. Hey, have you seen The Illusionist? No. I only saw the prestige. Round Who has more Instagram followers, Woody Harrelson or Ted Danson? Ooh. I'm going to go with Woody. Woody. Uh, well, Woody has 1.3 million followers. Ted Danson doesn't have any. Oh, wait, hold on. Ted Danson Instagram. Uh, uh, make sure it's a verified check mark and not just fan pics of a young Ted. Yeah, and Ted Danson only has 3,000. How do yeah, we get verified? Sense. See, it's only three thousand. Wow. How do I get verified? I think you have to message Nick John. Is oh, did you see that thing I sent you? Oh yeah. <laughs> Can we yeah, show that? Show on? that. Joe, I gotta show something. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, John has been. Uh, 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 he's been <laughs> ripped off. He's been ripped off. He's been moon. Dear Jono. He's been gaslighting. <laughs> the Jono show. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's got weed interviews and opinions. <laughs> Marijuana. Is that him? <laughs> wow. The Jono. <laughs> oh, wait. Wow. But I think Jono's done. Goodbye, YouTube. Well, let's see. This is from a year ago. No longer available on YouTube. We have to go to the JonoShow.com. That's a dumb move. <laughs> Man, it's what a dead son. Stoner. <laughs> maybe John. Maybe that, that was John on Prime. Died. How many subscribers? Not many. I don't remember. I'm not going back. I'm scared. Three figures. It was in the hundreds. How do you find the Jono show, man? I saw. I've got this friend. I don't know how I made it on on Facebook. His name is J E C or something like that. J Negative one J for Ruben. slider, plus five, five for mimosa. For mimosa. Uh, plus five for Hot Steve. I like his posts because negative one for Hot Steve, negative, negative five, five for, for Mimosa. Mimosa. He's posted sometimes about how he was a male escort in the past. One, one for, for Hot Steve, Steve one, one for, for Slider. Slider. Well, that, why are you wondering why you friended him? Negative five for Mimosa. Well, I don't know where I found him. What does that sound? Oh, which fish will be on top? Anyway, plus five for Mimosa, negative one for Mimosa, one for Slider. Uh, he had one for Mimosa... Up, he shared a video from the Jono show, and it was this lady dancing. Wow. Negative, four uh, plus for four Hot for Steve. Hot Steve, one for Mimosa. Mouth match for Hamburger. Negative five for Hot Steve, negative five for Slider. Sometimes Dave shows the fish's balls. Negative five That's for true. Mimosa. And shows not at the origin. Shows the fish. Negative five for Hot Steve. Plus one for Jeremy Leg. Negative five for Mimosa. Negative five for Slider. I guess the Jono show is a finspiration. Negative five for Jeremy Leg. We're in the final ten seconds. 
Negative five for Jeremy Lake, negative five for Slider. Brutal, David. Mm, that's the ground. The thing I don't like about orgies is, you know, it's usually after we get barbecue and then we all have sticky hands. And it's well, that's why you have to do lemon pepper dry. I was talking about that with Adia yesterday. That the lemon pepper dry so you don't get messy during the strip clubs or the orgies. Yeah. But I showed I the fish my balls. Oh, that was a younger day of planning <laughs> on it. <laughs> a little kid. <laughs> Freshly suffocated. Says to God, who spared him. What will you do with your life, my child? <laughs> Dave, did you ever think you were going to be a priest? No. I don't think I no. I don't want to be a priest. That job sucks. But don't they have a house attached to the church? Yeah. Uh, Maybe we need to do a reality show rectory. called Priest's House. All the all the priests that I knew growing up went on to become. Uh, Sexual DJs. deviants. Oh. All of the ones you knew? Well, two oh. of them. Two out of how many? Father Sam and Father Joe Houston. Really? Wow, the mouth match for hamburger is zero. Everyone was negative that round. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Bob from Greenville. Hey, Bob. Hey, how's Flumpy doing? What's Is that mean? mine? Yeah, are you poisoning well, Flumpy? You know something? No, I'm just wanting him to win. Oh, in terms of points. Yeah, not but, well in terms of health. I hope nothing's happening. Oh to my him. gosh! Well, I mean, you made us nervous, man. <laughs> but you, put, you guys made me nervous. No, you Jeez. made me nervous. Flump's actually in first place. Mimosa in second. Jeremy Leg in third. Hamburger in fourth. Sweet. Flump's gotten a crown chip this season. Also, you know what Flump did winter season? What? No, I I haven't been able to watch live in a bit. I'm actually driving on my way home right now. Okay. Well, who do you think won the winter season? I'm gonna guess Flump by the way you by the way you worded it. No, it was Jeremy Leg. Gotcha. Just uh, kidding. It was Flump, oh, dude. Oh, gotcha again. <laughs> you got me twice. Double gotcha. I already got. I always got you. I'm always there for you. Yeah, you are. You're you're the man, Max. Do you ever have a near death experience? I actually have. What, what happened? Uh, when I was like super young, uh, I had a seizure and drowned and almost died. Wow. Drowned? Drowned, yes. Do you, is it drowning if you don't die? Uh, I was technically dead for like 30 seconds to a minute, so oh. yes. That's, yep. a, that's a near-death experience. That's death. That's, that's not even near. Death. Yeah, that is death. You died. Well, I mean, I had no heartbeat for like a minute, so yeah. Really? What, how'd, how'd they get you back? Uh, CPR. My uncle gave right. me CPR. And, CPR was and just I, a trick. Uh, the trick worked. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Of course. It worked. Yeah. They What's gave you CPR and they saved your... Your uncle saved your life. What's this anime, Max? He did. A guy like you. Hard not to fall for a guy like you. It's, it's, an, it's just something I thought about when I think about you. It's an ad that came up when I was watching this fish video on YouTube. Do you like Bob, playing the game Daisy Corners, Bob? Yeah, that's an algorithm based sure, on... Sure, I'll play Daisy Corners. How do you play? What do you think it is? Uh, sounds like something to do with corners. So well, you remember how in Coin Quest I lost a lot of the coins in the corners of the code? Yep. Well, Daisy Corners is about uh, you get to look at images of daisies. And I've covered two corners. And you got to choose which uh, daisy, which corner has more daisies in Daisy Corners. That sounds fun. I'll have to do it blind as I'm driving. Oh. <laughs> you want to win points and you want to do shit, do shit. lie. Hey, I'll driving. do it blind. I, I'll just guess. It's 50 50. Why don't you right? just put one of your eyes on the road and, and your other eye on your phone? So I don't die? Just lift the phone well, in front of your we face. Want a near death. We don't obviously actually. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to stream while driving. You I mean, actually I like to do extreme shit, it, yeah. but not that extreme. Maybe you should pull over. I'm, I can pull over. Mm, it's not worth it. Just do it. Uh, maybe. Mm, huh, mm. Just let, just pull it up. I'll do it blind. You just tell me which corners I have to what choose. What if we have... Um, Dave. Okay, I'm going I'm to give you as much information as Dave I can. What Dave describes it? Okay, Dave, describe it. See, describe it. See if you can help him figure it out. So it's an image. The image is called Daisy Corners. And... Yep. There's a photo of some flowers with white petals and yellow interiors with 
green leaves beneath them. And in the Sounds upper, pretty. upper right hand corner and lower left hand corner, equidistant, two cubes. Sweet. With a pixelated pattern gradiented down the middle. Oh, Dave, making people sweat. And it is up Damn, to Dave. you to figure out are those daisies in the <clears throat> corners? No. Is that it? Are those daisies in the corner? If you guess how many daisies <coughs> are. How many daisies are in the photo? And this is not the same photo. Someone says the same photo. No, just no, pictures of daisies. So wait, do same. I guess the number, the number of daisies? You guess which quarter has the, the most daisies. Okay. It's not the same daisy picture from yesterday, and I didn't do it yesterday. I know so because the green right. is completely different. You're saying top right. Top right. Alex from Russia in all caps says, I'm sorry, but this is the most retarded were invented. You should, yeah, well, they're fucking stupid hey. because suck. No profanity. No, we can Max say whatever we want about Russians. Games. I like this game. Honestly, if people are saying I got like flack for this game, I feel like Daisy Corners was a big hit. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm not even looking at it, and I like it. The bottom quarter has one, two, three, four, five. The top right one has one, two, three, four, five. Five, and then a little bit of six. It was top right. It's not the Excellent. same picture at all. The other one had like 15 in the top right. Y'all don't know We're daisies. And shit. there's context clues because there's two corners of the daisies you see to try and guess <coughs> how nature would space daisies. Context Sucks. clues make everything better. And the only thing that requires skill is quizzes. I hate... You want me to do fa fantasy I, fiction quizzes? I hate this game. No. I'm with yeah, Alex. Yeah, Max, you Russia. did a great job with this game. Yeah, you get uh, 15 points. Cool. Give him the slump. Just for you, I will. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. It's me, Ailey and Bob. You. I love you. Those are the scores. Lumping, looking like it's Flump's time. Do you guys have pregnant? any advice before we go to the to the listeners? Give Each one of you, let's go around the cube here and give each person a... My advice will be the best, so I'll go last. Okay. Dave, you go first. It doesn't matter if you try to be good or not in life. Uh, eventually, you're going to let someone down. So just do your whatever you want to do. Thank you. Cho. When you're choosing supermarket sushi, if the sushi appears wet at all, pass on it. Um, I would su I would suggest that people uh, wear. Uh, well, hmm. What was your idea, Matt? Mm -hmm. Tina, let's see the leaderboard while Matt thinks. Oh, we also need Matt, Tina's. You, you want advice. my alternate one? I have an alternate one. Yeah, go ahead, Joe. Uh, don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> Peep shouts. Vortiques on top, tied for second. Bone amputee and introvertinator. Hey, that's Stoner Jennifer, isn't it? Right. Introvertinator? Stoner Jennifer would be Stoner Jennifer. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know anything. <clears throat> I think uh, here's one. A smile goes a long way. Unless Lame. it's a very bad smile. <laughs> Lame. Some people are better when they don't smile. Is that cat still here? No. Uh, <laughs> all right, Max, go ahead. Uh, it's not just about reaching 40. You know, because there's so many things that could kill you at any moment, but you're probably going to be fine. But you also you want to get there fully, happily, and healthy. So think about, on every step of your journey, becoming the best, happiest you you can, what you need to do that without hurting people. With a smile on your face. With a smile on your face. Thanks for watching. Get healthy.
there's nothing if it us. Yeah. 